Let's just talk to someone. Talk to someone because it's really sad losing someone because oh god and I'm getting so emotional having this conversation. I when I'm up through the night, I can Hey friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Masi. For those who are new, thank you for clicking on this video. I really do appreciate your support. I live in Australia, but I was born and brought up in Kenya. In today's topic, um, I'm going to be talking about uh, a topic that is really so sensitive, mental health issues because uh, especially when it comes to people living away from home, people living abroad, people living in, West, in Western world countries, stress, depression, mental health issues, those things, they are so real. That is the reality of so many people living away from home and uh, I just felt that um, I just wanna have a, a real and honest conversation around that topic and uh, i think it's time we start uh, having honest and real conversations about uh, mental health issues because there's so many people are affected especially young people anyway they don't even have to be not only young people everyone most africans living away from home and uh, if you like this kind of topics uh, don't forget to like this video share this video with your friends as uh, it does help with the growth of this channel thank you Compass was wrong, and I'm still on my way. Lost to where I belong. I'm still rolling. I want to start this video by saying uh, it's okay not to be okay. There is no shame in not being okay. There is no shame in how you're feeling, and uh, your feelings are valid. If you're feeling sad, if you're feeling angry, if you're feeling you're not okay, there is no shame in that. And uh, nobody should make you feel bad for whatever feelings you're feeling. And uh, if you want to talk to someone, it's okay to talk to someone. The high expectations from parents, from people back home. And this topic, I want to address people back home. Please manage your expectations when it comes to uh, people living abroad. Please, anytime you're call calling uh, your relative, you know, your child who is abroad, you don't, have you don't have to call them all the time and ask them for money, you know. You can always call them and check how they are doing, you know, say hi to them. Are they okay? Are they all right? Because there's so many things happen in the Western world and... Uh, most of the time, then they're not even gonna open up and tell you what is happening to them because um, you know the stigmatization. Then there is that thing of um, you're complaining. You've been given this golden opportunity to be living in the Western world, and you're here saying that you're not okay. And yeah, yeah, I know it's it's an opportunity living abroad for most people, but I can tell you this. So many people are stressed up. So many people are depressed. I was reading. Um, I was online the other day and uh, I saw a young Kenyan, a young guy took his own life, you know, and uh, that is not the first case I've seen. I've seen so many people killing themselves, so many people seeking into depression because of what? Because the expectations back home are too much. Please take care of yourself, you know, take care of yourself. You need to pay school fees, you need to pay your rent. <sighs> You need to pay so many things so take care of yourself and uh, it's okay to say no it's all right to say no no this time i don't have money i'm not gonna send money this time around because i don't have it's very okay to say to say that but i realize um some people they even uh, manipulate their kids their relatives who are living abroad you know let me tell you one thing. Someone to earn that $100, that $200 to send you back home. They are working, probably they are working 24 hours, long hours. So please, manage your expectations and uh, not all the times that you're supposed to call your relative abroad and ask them for money. You can always call them and check how they are doing, you know, or even support them. Because uh, most people, that is what they need when they are living away from home. The last thing you need is your family back home nagging you and asking for money all the time. 
and uh, I know I know most people who are living abroad are gonna, are gonna agree with me on this topic especially um, especially when you send uh, your child who is uh, let's assume is 18 or 19 years old and uh, you expect them to build a house for you I don't know buy your car and all the other things and this is this is a child they just finished a uh, high school and um, you know how it is back home of course when you're in high school and campus your parents they're taking care of you they're paying your rent they're paying your school fees in campus and uh, they are giving you food you know what I mean that is what I went through you know because of course I went to campus back home before I, I, I decided to come here and of course I was my parents uh, responsibility but I can imagine when someone is uh, here they are they just finished high school back home they are here they are 18 they are 19 they are 20 they have to take care of themselves they have to pay school fees for themselves they have to send money back home they just have to take so much responsibilities you know and uh, they were used to their parents taking care of them but when you're here let me tell you you become an adult you're 20 years old but you're supposed to behave like a 35 year old or you have responsibilities like that of a 35 year old 40 year old because uh, most likely maybe your mother your father they are back home you don't have sisters here or brothers here so what do you do you're supposed to grow up and um, you're supposed to be an adult you're supposed to take care of yourself you're supposed to know how much school fees you're supposed to pay how much rent you're supposed to pay food and all the other things and uh, I think that is what um, and of course the transition is not easy from a child not necessarily they're not kids but you understand what I mean it's not easy for them it's not easy for them and um, and at the same time you're supposed to help your family back home it's not easy let me tell you parents who who are watching me is make sure you check on them check on those kids when they haven't communicated for like three i don't know how many days depending please make sure you call them and talk to them because um and see whether they are gonna open up to you because it's sad it's sad losing a child because of depression or because probably and and i can understand even the parents who are back home or the relatives who are, who are back home most of them they don't understand that these are the things that people go through because we don't talk about these things we don't talk about these things um because uh, like i said uh people are gonna think that you're complaining you're not appreciative of the opportunity you've been given to come and live abroad and uh, most likely or probably maybe your parents they sold their lands they sold their property for you to live to live abroad or to go and study in abroad but um, you know they're guilty you're guilty you're supposed to provide for them you're supposed to appear strong even when you're not and uh, you're supposed to show them that you're all right but most likely you are not and uh, that's why i keep saying that um it's okay to talk to someone and uh, seek a professional help if you're not feeling well talk to someone please just talk to someone talk to someone because it's really sad losing someone because oh god and i'm getting so emotional having this conversation I, my family they're very supportive of me i'm always talking to my family like 10 times in a day and i'm really appreciative of that and um so like I was saying, talk to your family who are living abroad, talk to your kids. I hope they can encourage them to talk to someone, encourage them to talk to, uh, to seek professional help and uh, or to have friends they can talk to. I don't know, but it's really hard at the same time to have um, real, real friends because at the same time, we all here, people are going through so much and people have their own battles that they are fighting. So probably the last thing you need is carrying a, a baggage. Uh, she's sleeping on her house. No, she's not. Probably the last thing you need is carrying a baggage of someone else. And uh, it's sad. Dancing, dancing on the moon. I'll 
probably you sold the land, your property for them to be living in the Western world. But guess what? They are not doing well. They are not doing okay. They are suffering. They are depressed. They are stressed out. They are sick. How about that? That is the reality. That is the reality of the people living away from home. They are not okay. They are not happy. But they won't tell you that because guess what? The expectations are too high or they don't want to disappoint you. You know the guilt or feeling are oh, they sold the land. I people are uh, had a harambe for me to to go and live in America or the other place. So what do you do? You just sink into depression because you cannot even open up to your relatives back home. You cannot tell your mother or your parents or your sisters and brothers what is happening with you because you're scared. You're scared. What are they gonna say? So please, people back home. Please manage your expectations on people living abroad. They are working so hard day and night for them to live a comfortable life, probably here or back home when they decide to go back home. And uh, the next time you call your relative who is living in the Western world, kindly check, ask them how they are doing. Don't ask them for money, just ask them how they are doing could be the, the only chance they have before they do anything crazy. Like I said, I don't know if I've said, I was reading the news um, the other day and uh, I saw <clears throat> a young Kenyan who killed himself. Of course, I, I, I don't know why he killed himself. Or I, I have no idea, but I can tell you this for free. Jeez something related to mental health issues and um, he's not the first one but we need to have this conversation we need to be honest we need to be honest with people back home. you need to be honest with your relatives and tell them this is what is happening I'm not collecting money from the trees I'm not collecting money from the from the roads I'm working so hard you need to tell them the truth I cannot sustain your lifestyle back home. And you know what my friend told me? And that is the reality. You're sending them money back home, $100, $200. They're using your money to develop themselves. Yes. And they are using their money, if they are working, to invest. And in case something happens and you send away, unfortunately, or you told it's time to pack up and leave the country, Go back to wherever you came from, darling. You don't have nothing to show for it. The same people, the same friends, the same relative you've been sending money to, they are the ones who are going to be laughing at you and mocking you, saying that you wasted your time living abroad. And here you are with nothing to show for it. Yeah, that's what is going to happen. So I, because I've seen this happening to so many people, I've read so many stories, I've heard so many stories, and I've seen it with my own eyes what happens so please be selfish and uh, before you send money back home please make sure you pay yourself pay yourself pay the person who has been waking up every day pay the person who has been doing night shifts six days a week or seven days a week pay the hardworking person who is you before you send that a hundred dollars and whatever to go back home and um I'm not saying that don't send money back home, kindly, don't get me wrong, but um, just take care of yourself. But, like I said, you don't get to find a real and honest conversation about people living abroad because people just want to keep to themselves. But uh, for me, I just decided to come here on camera and just say it like it is. And um, please don't get me wrong. We don't with my videos because I've seen uh, so many comments of people saying, "Oh, she's negative. Oh, she's a spoiled child. Oh, she's lazy. Oh, she's um, what else did they say? She's negative. Yeah, I see that. 
Anyway, I don't know. I don't dwell so much on the negative, to be honest. But um, I'm not trying to dissuade anyone from relocating or moving abroad. Mine is to tell you, please have an open mind and manage your expectations. I am not trying to say that there are no successful stories. There are so many successful stories. So many of them, you know. But at the same time, darling, manage your expectations. We normally don't have this conversation, this uh, raw and edited uh, conversation regarding to mental health, um, depression, stress. And um, you realize that by the time maybe you want to open up to your family, you want to tell them what is happening, you're not okay. Most of the times people are going to assume that uh, you're complaining or you're not grateful for the golden golden opportunity you've gotten for you to live abroad. Why are you complaining? So many people, actually that is what happened when I did that video of um, the sad life of people living abroad. People without even watching the video, they were so quick to say, oh, why are you complaining? You should be appreciative of the chance you have of living abroad. There is no work in Kenya. There is no what. Why are you even complaining? You're supposed to be happy. Please. Yes, I know. We, I'm happy. I'm, I'm really so happy to be here. Because it's a choice I made to relocate to Australia. At the same time, I'm just gonna tell the truth. That's the reason why people don't wanna open up. That's the reason why someone doesn't wanna open up. They're just gonna go, go into drugs, kill themselves, God forbid. Because people are making you feel guilty when you open up and you when you tell them that you're not feeling well. When you tell your family or friends you're not feeling well, people are making you feel like, why? Why? Why are you not okay? Why? Because of what? You're living abroad, you know? You have everything that you need. Why are you complaining? So, the next time someone is opening up and telling you that they're not okay, they're not feeling well, please listen to them. The least you can do is just listen to them and let them be instead of judging them or bashing them. We've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. I don't take all that for granted. Thank you for the inboxes on Facebook. Thank you for the DMs on my Instagram. And you people, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to leave a link on the description box below. And if you have anything, any topic that you want me to discuss on, on this channel, don't hesitate to, to write me um, a DM. And of course, I'll respond or I will get back to you. And also, uh, like I always say, please be kind to one another. It doesn't cost anything to be kind to one another. If you cannot say encouraging things to people, positive things to people, good things to people, just keep quiet. Don't say anything, you know. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.